good for Why this. is it so difficult for a Jamaican woman to make it with reggae? There aren't that many. And I read, Beverly Manley has written a lot about Jamaican women. Uh-oh. I got that root look again. <laughs> Gee, I felt that, folks, all the way down to my feet. Anyway, I read a lot of Jamaican newspapers. What is it that, that this music has in terms of freeing up in a message that isn't in the behavior of the people? I, I don't think it has anything to do with... Um male chauvinism or female. I didn't say those words. Mm, it's the same old story. I mean, females have always had the hardest time. Meryl Streep doesn't make as much money as Jack Nichols. I mean, it's the same argument all the way around. What do you say, Queen of Reggae? <laughs> well, I'm in agreement with Peggy a little bit. It's not just reggae and Jamaica per se. It's, you know, traditional woman has always been, like, subversive, you know, Press. Hold it down a little bit, as opposed to not. So it is in Jamaica music, or uh, in, in in reggae music. It has always been a male dominated, dominated business. Business, everything. It's just a man, man producer, engineer. You know, everything. But we saw a change in that in the eighties. Well, there was a lot of you know what females. happens. There's so many men now. The women should get get smart and say, wait a minute. So many of them. Every. Every every five music every five musicians a male. Capitalize on it. You got a little brains. You got a little looks. You got a little talent. Your your numbers are, as, are not as many as the men. So hop on that. It's easier. It's what I was easier doing for when I was a girl. It's easier for a man. Is that what you would do if you were a girl? A combination of your looks, your brains, and your talent. And there are more men than women. Therefore, I'm more of a novelty than. Than the, men, than the men are. So bring them something new. Yeah. Is that how you became the queen of... See, there goes that look again. <laughs> the root look. There goes that root look again. Every time I see you now, I'm going to think of that. So you say, well, I look at your face. It's not that easy. It's not that easy to change thinking. It's, it's, not, it's not easy. It's not easy. But at the same time, it all depends upon... It, it depends on the individual. Of course. That's what if you subject yourself to what exists, then you'll forever be, you know, in that existence. But if you think out, outside of that and say, well, okay, like when I first started to DJ on the mic, when I first started, a lot of people said, uh, what's not, DJ on the mic? Like well, she's a female rapper. rapper. Okay, well, show me how you would do that. Can you do a little bit? Yeah. Yeah, but I can't yeah, do that. My name Sister Carol, and I call me, no girl, come and don't take the genital, no take no the rap. Wait a minute, I like that. I like that. Could I do that? Yes, you could. Okay, show me how to do it again. Just, just... My name's Sister Beverly, and I take no mess, because I can't... Well, it's a try. Yes, it's a little bit. 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 It's a but you know, this is not going to work because it's only the guys that do it. And when I started, there was only like two other women that I knew of who started to do it before I got myself, like Sister Nancy and um, another one called Mother Liza. If I had followed those people who were discouraging me from doing this, then I would not be here, sitting down here right now, talking to you. I saw I a lot. Mm -hmm. A woman DJ? Faces and stuff like that. But when you visualize, it materializes, and people can only go as far as you allow them. And so you started doing it. What did women say? Because sometimes we are our own worst enemies. No. In my case, I got a lot of support from women. Like, go on, yeah, yeah, go on, go on, go on. <laughs> women in reggae are very supportive. They you really know, are. I, I, I must say, I got support from the sisters and from the brothers. And so you went on. And I went, I, I, I'm still going. <laughs> so when did you get your first record contract? Well, I made my first record in 82. First record called Black Cinderella. Black Cinderella? Yeah, and I'm also the Black Cinderella. So it was the, 